Uh, Bernie Sanders... I'm not a big fan of Bernie Sanders, and I think a lot of young people who fancy themselves as classical liberals, we'll talk about that with Dave Rubin, thought like, well, I'm a classic liberal, but I'm not a social justice warrior leftist, so no. I, I support Bernie over Hillary. Bernie's my guy. He's yeah. the worst there's ever been. He is the worst pandering, you know, uh, social justice warrior. Every single discussion is about marginalization and about entitlement than I think there's ever been, and I'm glad that people are waking up to it. So, Plus, you know he probably makes noise when he eats. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mouth breather. We must grow the middle class. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Now that I acted out, I think he is. I think he oh, is. Oh, let's do it with Godfrey, Bernie. We must grow the middle class! <laughs> he does all the above. <laughs> the worst uh, defender of them all. So he was sitting down and he was questioning. He was grilling, as HuffPo puts it. The uh, uh, Trump's budget chief, Mulvaney, mm -hmm. I think is his name. Let's just go through it so you can see the absolute insanity of the left. Pussy hat's not required at the march. This is an actual hearing. You wrote a letter stating, and I quote, I vehemently urge House Republican leadership to use every available tool to strip Planned Parenthood of any and all taxpayer funds and to take measures to prevent the group from receiving taxpayer dollars in the future, end quote. Yes. Some two and a half million Americans, many of them low-income women. Okay, hold on a second. We have to go to our liberal lexicon here, or leftist lexicon, for those who are easily offended. Uh, liberal lexicon, low-income means brown people, or black people. Technically, black people are brown people. They're not really black. And we know that because we've had to light them here in mm -hmm. the studio. <laughs> the, light, <laughs> the light meters don't lie. So make sure you understand that because that's important going forward. Next clip. Now get their health care through planned Parenthood, at a time when we have 28 million people who have no health insurance today, despite the gains of the Affordable Care Act. Oh, despite the gains. It's amazing what gains you can make when you force people to purchase insurance at gunpoint, taken from other people whose taxes were gathered at gunpoint. Next clip. You really believe that we should tell two and a half million Americans, many of them low-income women, who get high-quality care at Planned Parenthood, that they should, should no longer have access. Uh, okay, again, we have to go back to the liberal lexicon. Sorry, access, in this instance, access, as Bernie is using it, actually means free crap. Ah. It's important that you get that right. That makes a lot of sense. Because he's not talking about, no one's talking about removing one's ability in the private market to purchase their own birth control or to purchase their own Jimmy hat. Uh, abortion is another topic. We can get to that. That's what... Planned Parenthood largely does is abortions, yeah. but they claim that they don't. And of course, Bernie Sanders will go with that premise. We know it's untrue, but access. No one wants to limit anyone's actual access. What they mean, it's all making sense, is taxpayer funded free crap. Next clip. Two and a half million Americans, many low income women, choose Planned Parenthood as their choice for health care. Uh, Why okay. would you deny them that choice? Pause, pause, choice. He's using that word again. Now, uh, I know this is easily because we just talked about this with access, but uh, choice in the liberal lexicon here, as Bernie Sanders is using it, also means oh. free crap. Yeah, oh, choice means free crap. Yeah. Why would you deny them access to their choice? What he's talking about is federal funding for, a, for a, an organization that performs abortions. That's their main seller. Would have moved the money from Planned Parenthood to the federally qualified health care clinics, um, which are more prevalent, more available, and actually serve more needy women than Congressman, I know a lot about the community health centers. I'm one of the leading advocates for them here and help increase funding for them. Uh, okay, <laughs> of course. He just tries to take credit. I will increase, by, by the way, when he says increase funding, he means taxpayer dollars. Yes. Like he didn't go out canvassing. He didn't go door to door. Would you like to fund Planned Parenthood? He signed <laughs> We're a taking bill. it off, Frank. <laughs> yeah. He just si he signed, he co-signed. Yes! Put my name on that shit! <laughs> That's what pretty, you know, I, I, I increased funding. Really? Name me any government program that ever came across your desk where you didn't increase funding, Bernie. Getting your plaque, name on the plaque, does yeah. not equal he actually, uh, increasing the funding. The Bernie Sanders Choose Your Own Path children's novel, it always leads to increased funding. <laughs> they're not very exciting books. No, they're not. The little predictable. <laughs> not very exciting books. Any other option just takes you right back to the beginning. It just takes you right back. <laughs> Collect four trillion dollars and pass! Go! So, just that's what you could, you could just take that phrase, Bernie Sanders increased funding for blank any bill that ever came before him <laughs> or government entity. But he wants to believe that this is somehow virtuous. Uh, okay, next clip. But two and a half million 
people, mostly women, have chosen Planned Parenthood. And after all the talk about choice that we want a health care system which allows people to go any place they want, your recommendation is that we should deny two and a half million women their choice of health care. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And you know all the Bernie fans are sitting here going like, oh, dear, oh, oh no, he just took your own words, Republican choice, and turned it on you, bitch. It's mm. so silly. I mean, this is like uh, when people were outraged that, that Donald Trump the other day re reversed Mexico City policy. He wants to take away women's rights. Really? You believe that saying, hey, the United States federal government should not be funding abortions overseas is the equivalent to removing your right to vote because of your <laughs> uterus? This is what they, you know, oh, I'm, so for all you talk about choice. Yes, it still is choice. First off, okay, let's talk about what he's talking about. Choice, he means free access funded by the taxpayer. It's important for people to understand this because they think that he's somehow compassionate. No, he means free access funded by the taxpayer. And here's something else. If he is even about choice in reproductive health care, okay? If Bernie Sanders, he talks about big banks, uh, Wall Street, we're talking about, you know, big health care, all these companies that receive bailouts. And he hates, and I'm on board with him. You know why, mm. you, you, know why you hate that? Because you create super banks. You create super firms, right? You create, you create, uh, 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 super insurance companies. You give them all kinds of leverage because they constantly rely on a never-ending supply of federal bailouts. Well, that's exactly what happens with Planned Parenthood. It's just big abortion. If Bernie Sanders believes in small businesses, he should want zero federal funding to go to Planned Parenthood so that the smaller mom-and-pop abortion clinics can compete. The little Etsy abortion clinics. Little <laughs> 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 exactly. They have a digital storefront! <laughs> it's just some forceps and a suction cup. <laughs> the point is, they're not even consistent. The, if, but they are engraved. <laughs> they, they to be are, fair, they're engraved. They're customized with your initials. <laughs> they come. And the initials of who would have been? They come wrapped in twine. <laughs> it's just—it is so remarkably. Here's the thing: the left wants you to be outraged at the idea that someone who could be budget chief doesn't want the federal government to take your money and give it to an organization whose main purpose for existing is abortions. They think that that should, they're so out of touch, they believe that this is so outrageous that Americans are gonna go, what, what, what? Someone doesn't wanna take my money from my pocket through taxes and fund abortion? I can't, I am outraged, sir. <laughs> Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.